At this point, we have a pretty good cube. But what happens if we want to look at other types of sales? Reseller sales are sales that are made to businesses, but AdventureWorks also sells to customers directly over the internet. And those sales are stored in a separate fact table. So in order for us to include information about those sales in the same cube, we need to go back to the data source view and add in our new fact table. So we'll right click in the background here and select add remove tables. And we can bring in the fact internet sales. We'll also bring in a new dimension, dem customer to go along with those sales. So we'll click OK. And all of the relationships are correctly determined. We're just going to rename our fact table to be consistent with reseller sales. We'll call this internet sales. And then for customer, we'll call this just simply customer instead of dim customer. We'll use the dimension wizard to quickly add in a new dimension based on our existing table for customer. And we'll keep this simple by last name. And maybe we'll use gender here. And then click next. Click finish. Create a simple hierarchy. And now we're ready to add internet sales to our cube, which is already created. So we're not going to use the cube wizard again. We're going to go back to the cube structure tab. And we're going to right click in the measures pane. And we'll select new measure group. This would be internet sales. And click OK. Now when we do this, it brings in all of the numeric columns. And so we can delete them one by one, or we can go to a grid view of our measures, and then we can select them in multiples. Let's just take a quick look. You see here in the measure group column, we have our three reseller sales, and then we have multiple internet sales. So I want to keep only the same ones that I have in reseller sales. So I'm going to select everything else, just hold down the Shift key for this first group, and then hold down the Control key to skip over and select other measures here. And then I can use the Delete button on the toolbar to delete multiple objects at once. Now the rule is that a measure name must be unique across the entire cube, not within measure groups. So I'm going to rename these measures so that I can tell from the name which measure group it's associated with. And then I need to set my format string. So on order quantity, I'll go to format string and set the custom format string. And then with cost and sales amount, I can multi-select those two items and then set the format string for both at one time. And then I can always switch back to the tree view. If later I want to add in one of the other measures, I could just right click and select new measure. Then I would need to select the source table, either reseller sales or internet sales, and select the applicable source column. At the top is a drop-down that asks me how I'll be using that measure. Essentially, this sets the aggregate function for that measure. Now we have all of our measures. Now we just have one more step. Remember that I added the customer dimension to the database. Now I need to add it to the cube as well. So I right-click in the dimensions pane and select Add Cube Dimension. And here I can select Customer and then click OK. Then when I'm finished, I just deploy the cube and check the result. When deployment is finished, I go to the browser pane and notice down at the bottom we have a message that the cube has been reprocessed on the server and I need to reconnect to refresh the screen. 
So the reconnect button is the third button on the toolbar. When I reconnect, it reestablishes a session with the server and it updates my values. So if I just click in the center portion of the screen here, I can use the clear results button to wipe everything out and then we can compare reseller sales to internet sales. So notice if I take product category that this breaks down by sales amount but notice with internet sales amount that the same number is repeated. That indicates a problem with dimension usage if I'm expecting to be able to see internet sales by category. So we have more work to do with our cube.